I've been playing around with the settings uh, for videos to sharpen. This is the Canon EOS M6. Uh, the video is really great. You can do a little bit to tweak it as far as sharpness and color and color correction. I hadn't really played around with that too much, but Peter McKinnon has uh, LUTs, which are basically code that will allow you to manipulate the color with simply by adding a uh, a, a, something to it, you add an, you, you just do an adjustment layer. I'm learning all of this stuff. I'm not an expert by any means. I'm merely a hobbyist, like a lot of you guys probably are too. You're just doing this for the fun of it. I wanted to make my videos look a, even a little bit better than they do already on this great camera that I have. And I found this guy. He sell he sells these little LUTs, which you just add them to an adjustment layer or is it adjustment layer? Uh, we'll see in a second. I'll pull it up. But what happens is you can do uh, color modification. You can make it look certain ways. You can fade it, make it look black and white, do different things with color, make the colors look more realistic, or exaggerate them and make them look uh, really, really crazy. I've, I've already done it on two or three videos that I put up and uh, I've played around with it quite a bit. And my first reaction was, why haven't I been doing this sooner? I'm really happy with it. I really like the way it looks. This camera in natural light, when I have it pointing outside or when I'm outside and I color correct it, it just really pops and makes the video look really nice. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I'm doing. And then we'll look at some samples. I started editing the video together and I realized I didn't explain what I did. I just stuck the camera, pointed the camera outside so the light would be, so it would pick up a nice outside shot and then I made modifications to it. So what you're going to see is the, the outside basically and then I'll put the color corrections on top and it'll bounce back and forth and I'll put a little thing on the bottom that says color correction, LUT or not. Let's go. The, this is the main one that I like to use. Let's take a look at it. And it'll be before and after, and I'll put a label on it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first one. As you can see, the color really pops on the trees. And the, how I usually tell how I want it to look I look like in this case it's easy because I just I, I know the trees I want them to be a nice color green and I want the sky to be blue and the clouds to you differentiate between the clouds and the sky basically that's how I do it or I've been doing it. I don't know if that's the exact right way to do it but that's the way it looks good to me so this is the second one this one doesn't it, it does do it, but it has that little bit of a fade to it. That faded looks good on some places. I just wanted to put it up to just kind of show what the contrast. The first one's my favorite. This one I have used, and I just warm up the temperature a bit on the picture and I'll brighten the, lower the exposure and add some shadows to kind of take away from that real ultra bright, uh, the faded look. I don't like it. Here's one I haven't used before. I'll find an application for black and white, I hope, at some point, but right now I, I really enjoy having the realness and the colors pop. That makes it look really nice. I, uh, I, like I said, I'll probably find a, somewhere to use it. It's really good for dramatic effect. I, I'll, I'll figure out one, one day I'll figure out how to use it. It's good to like contrast different ideas, maybe. Not necessarily what, what the color pattern is. Because this one I just drop it, I drop it in the LUT on and that's about it. I don't really, I may lower the exposure a bit to kind of make those darker colors pop a bit more. But let's take a look at the other ones. Uh, just to give a demo of what they are because there's uh, 10 of them. It was, it was uh, and they're super easy to do. You just drop them in the adjustment layer and you can tweak the colors. The only thing I'll really ever tweak, I'll usually raise the exposure a bit, 
drop a little bit of the contrast maybe mess with the shadowing just a bit to make the darker colors pop a bit more and sharpen a little bit usually not a lot because the camera does most of that work for you already so let's go ahead and take a look This is a demo of what, what they do. Like I said, I've used the first one the most. And with that, I can just drop it, do tiny tweaks to it, and add it to that adjustment layer, and then just put that on all of them. I find it works pretty good with this in natural light, With if I'm shooting something outside. I found the GoPros. I, I've been, I let it do whatever color thing that it, the GoPro 5 does. But I think what I'm going to start doing is shooting it with a flat profile and then adding this afterwards. That'll be nice because I use them a lot for fishing, so that's outside. And I noticed I did it on one of my uh, time lapses for time lapses for the city and time lapses for fishing, and it really makes the the water color show nice. It makes the trees look really pretty and bright. So. I, I, I am going to start using a lot more. It's pretty easy once you kind of figure out, once you know what you want and where to go to change it, it's pretty easy to use. So I hope you enjoyed that. It, it's, it's a fun look at it. I'll, I'll put the link in the description so you can go get them for yourself. Uh, I, I think they're, uh, they're a really great tool to really just make your editing go a lot faster and make your things look really nice. So thanks for watching.